How's it going, Airsofters? Mr. Derby Taco here. And today, I will be giving you guys advice for you people who want to start airsofting. Advice on how to start airsofting. And first and above all, when dealing with the airsoft gun, treat it as a real and loaded gun. And when walking around in public or traveling, make sure it's in a gun bag sealed away from public vision. And when in use, make sure you have eye protection. Now that, now that that is said, let's get started. So, let's say you've been on YouTube and you've seen videos on airsofting and you like what you saw and you've maybe talked to somebody who's airsofted before. And you've also went to your nearest place who does the place that does airsofting and you liked what you did there and you want to start professionally. I would recommend getting a rifle above all or you can get a pistol. I've seen a few people who only had a pistol and nothing else. I'd recommend getting a rifle. I would recommend I would get the rifle before you get all the gear. Therefore, not there. Well, uh, yeah, because then once you get the rifle, you could save money for the gear. Whereas if you were to buy the gear, you'd have all the gear but have no gun to use. Now, a good starting rifle is anywhere between the price of a hundred to two hundred dollars. Now they come in gas, electric, and air spring, same as pistols. So, I am currently saving up for the Elite Force M4 CQB, as you can see, whoa, whoa, as you can see right here. Now, that is $165, and it's electric, it's an electric rifle, M4 rifle, comes with two high cap mags, a battery and charger, and a stubby grip, all for $165, and I think that's a pretty good price. But you don't have to go for the M4 rifles, they come in many, many makes and models. By the way, for you people who are looking at this and think it's pretty cool and want it as your first gun, I would not, because this is somewhere over a thousand to two thousand dollars. So yeah, like I said, there's many types. You got the small guns, and then you got the big guns, as you see here. And that was kind of basically it. Now this, that's more for cosplay. Well, not really cosplay, but you can get it for decoration if you want to look cool on the battlefield to be funny you, you can get them anime sci-fi guns or you can go for the more realistic now the guns can go anywhere from a look of world war one to world war two or all the way to the more modern looks and by the way this is all on evike.com everything you see here is from that website evike.com now some of the gear you'll see later on in this channel is either from here or airsoftgi.com. So yeah. So let's say you were airsofting for the first or second time with your brand new rifle. And somewhere in the mix of one of the rounds, you notice you don't have no more BBs. And the rest of your BBs that you had left in their package is out of the field with all your gear that you're not currently using back at the meeting place. I would recommend getting a sidearm. You can either get a revolver or a regular hand handgun. Now these handguns can go anywhere between not between, but anywhere from air spring to electric to gas. Now with gas, there's two types. There's CO two and green gas. And then electric are basically just batteries you put in to them. I would not recommend getting this because I I, it's just too much because I and I believe I'm correct on this but every time you shoot you have to keep pulling the slide back whereas with the electric and gas you're able to get a type to where it's called a blowback for the electric and gas and with the blowback every time you shoot the slide comes back and goes back forward giving you the ability to keep repeatedly shooting now you can also get a non blowback now with the non blowback it doesn't mean it does the purpose of an air spring it just means it does the same thing as a blowback except the slide does not come back but i would get a i would recommend getting a blowback cuz then it gives a more realistic look to it when shooting and then of course you'd have to get a holster for that which would be here now there's many types. I'll go over the gear in my next part two video. You can either get a, a hard plastic or a nice fabric holster. 
I'll, I'm gonna go here since that looks a little cooler. So, yeah, there's the clap, not the clap, the, the clip holsters, then the handgun holsters. And you can even get some handguns that have attachments, so you can put like a little flashlight or a little laser. Or even for you people who want to record, you can put a little camera on certain ones if you can, but they might be too big. You can even get on a revolver, see, there's, uh, yeah. So if I can, oh my gosh, it, no, 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 it's, it's not, no, alright, alright, reload. So yeah, and see, I'm not sure if you can see it here, but, uh, it's not on this one, but so, some rifles have the rail system on top and sometimes the bottom to where you can put attachments on the revolver as well as the regular handgun. Now, when buying your first airsoft gun, of course, I would, re not rarely, but I would definitely recommend buying face protection along with your order of the gun, either the rifle or the pistol, for safety reasons. Even if you're not even going to take it out and you just want to shoot stuff in your backyard, I would still get face protection just in case it might accidentally ricochet off of something. So that is it, airsofters, for my part one of starting airsofting. And first and above all, I just want to make sure you guys treat every airsoft gun as a real and loaded rifle or pistol. And make sure the rifle and the gun are in a gun bag away from public vision. And that mm. when yeah. using these guns, you make sure you have eye protection. Make sure you got that because that is a safe way to go and hopefully later on I could show you guys my loadout because right now it's not complete it's kind of there not there if you get what I'm saying so that is it and I got I'm showing you all this stuff from evike.com and some of the later stuff I might show you in my next video evike and airsoft GI but airsoft GI is the other place I go for my gear so that is it for today folks see you guys later